right, Tony, be careful out there. Developing tonight, it is the first time the Bixby School Board has met since the former superintendent, Dr. Kyle Wood, resigned. While the sexual assault investigation that has plagued the district for weeks now was hush-hush, the interim superintendent broke her silence in a letter minutes after the meeting. Two Works For You reporter Kitty Wisely was there and just got her hands on the note sent to parents. Good evening. Not one word was mentioned in tonight's meeting regarding the sexual assault investigation, including the school officials like the high school principal and athletic director who were mentioned in the affidavit. As far as we know, they do still have their jobs. It was the first meeting back since Dr. Kyle Wood resigned as superintendent. Officially called the meeting to order. While nothing was mentioned of the investigation, school board president Ron Schneer read the media this statement. The district's focused on healing and moving forward. When's going to be the next time you guys will address the investigation? When the next meeting is? Do you know? I don't know. Two Works For You obtained a copy of this statement by the interim superintendent sent to Bixby parents claiming the board has concluded its investigation and several actions have been taken in response to the results of the investigation. You think you trust school administration to go to and then you, you can't. Interim Superintendent Lydia Wilson says the district will cooperate with investigators. A problem in the past, according to law enforcement in an affidavit released more than a month ago. The board is also working on, which I just mentioned, getting our search underway for a new superintendent. As the Rogers County DA's office continues to investigate, charges could be filed in the future, and former superintendent Dr. Kyle Wood could face multiple misdemeanors. I just hope that they're doing their due diligence and, and and soon they will have the right answer. We did speak with school board officials after the meeting was over and they tell us that there is a meeting tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock to discuss options for the new superintendent. Reporting in Bixby, Katie Wisely, Two Works for You.